Get it, 
this dream work! In adventuring, as in business, you always have to seize the opportunity while it's there. Enough procrastinating. Let's go. Let's move before the trail goes cold. When training to be...
Well, since you asked so- Ready for anything. Chivalry will never die. <laughs> Rain outlines your fate. Rain cutter. <laughs> Silver oh. Adventure time. Everybody stand back! <sighs> 
Ready when you are.
Everybody, stand back! Network. Eyes on me! Truth hurts!
If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. to remain on dry land for so long. Never quite seem to get my land legs back. Have you heard about the vision on the tree? Cold beer after a hard day's work. Nothing like it. It's hard to remain on dry land for so long. I never quite seem to get my land legs back. Have you heard about the Vision Hunt Decree? If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. Benny's adventure team, a sick! Huh? 
There's a strange wanderer in your world. <laughs> You got it, hammer. Another test subject. That too. <laughs> What shall we do? Stabilize!
Follow my intuition. May knowledge guide you.
Witness the power. Let's light it up. I will have order. Stabilize. Endeavor. No, my. Soul. 
your time. Adventure time! Off we go! Adventure time! your time.
Adventure time! Off we go! Adventure time! Certainly worth the extra mile. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory?
Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? Rise! Right. 
I'm starting to lose count. What you got? Another test subject. Eyes on me! Let's light it up! Should replace my hammer. You're open! Excellent! Body and mind. Teamwork is dream power that ended high son. I will have order. Stabilize. <laughs> I guess this is it. You've been hiding. Got a problem you can't solve.
Nice. I'm starting to lose count. Solidify!
If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. Beer after a hard day's work. Nothing like it. It's hard to remain on dry land for so long. I never quite seem to get my land legs back. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. After a hard day's work, nothing like it.
If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. day's work. Nothing like it. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. It's hard to remain on dry land for so long. I never quite seem to get my land legs back. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. Ah, cold beer after a hard day's work. Nothing like it.
If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. It's hard to remain on dry land for so long. I never quite seem to get my land legs back. After a hard day's work, nothing like it. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. It's hard to remain on dry land for so long. I never quite seem to get my land legs back. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. beer after a hard day's work. Nothing like it.
If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. It's hard to remain on dry land for so long. I never quite seem to get my land legs back. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. Beer after a hard day's work. Nothing like it. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. Ah, <sighs> cold beer after a hard day's work. Nothing like it. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready.
It's hard to remain on dry land for so long. Never quite seem to get my land legs back. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. Cold beer after a hard day's work. Nothing like it. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. Wait, aren't you... Captain of Swordfish 2? Oh, it is you! Oh, you have our gratitude. Watatsumi Island wouldn't have come to peace without your efforts. I wasn't with Swordfish 2. Oh, you really gave it to those sh Is there anything you need from me? I'm at... Uh, on edge, you say? In fairness, victory's declared, and all of a sudden, the fighting's over. But people can't just snap back into normal life again. I think... I don't know what else it could be, but what I do know is that as long as Her Excellency is with us, Watatsumi Island is safe. And all the more so, now that you're back. Seriously, if there's ever anything you need, just say the word. What a nice guy. Let's go ask some other people. Definitely seen you somewhere before. And settled. Not that I would. We're at peace now. <sighs> Sorry. Huh. Seems he's about to fall asleep. Ugh. I don't understand what Her Excellency is thinking. I mean, pe Exactly. Everyone knows you can't trust the Tenryo Commission. I heard they've been secretly coordinating with the Fatui and plan to continue- Wait, for real? You're sure of this? Positive. Some of our g I knew it! The Tenryo Commission are- Shh! Keep your voice down. Someone's coming. Hey there! What you talking about? Uh, uh Captain! You're back! Do 
you think we should tell the captain about what we were dis- No, let's not mention it. She's one of her closest advi- I'm sure the captain would see where we're coming from, but you're right. We should probably play it safe. <clears throat> uh, welcome back to Watatsumi Island. Her Excellency should be in the village at present. Head straight over if you wish, Captain. Hmm. Paimon definitely detected some hush-hush going on there. But if they aren't gonna talk, we might as well head- We know you've been secretly supplying the Tenryo Commission with goods purchased on Watatsumi Island. I knew something was off about a Tenryo Commission merchant doing business here. So, what do you have to say f I'm innocent! Ha! You're as guilty as they c Take him away! Wait! Kokomi! Something's going down over here! You should take a look, Prince! Your Excellency! This merchant is suspected of- Our surveillance shows that in his- I- I haven't! That will do. Let's not let ourselves get too worked up here, shall we? Matsuda, Uchimura, I under- But before we make any decisions over whether this merchant is guilty- If he's guilty, of course, there will be consequences. But if he's innocent, he- Excuse me, sir. As you know, my subordinates- Of course! I can ex- Um, ah, I'm a trader on the island. So, naturally, I built up some inventory. I was planning to hold off on selling until the prices went up, but then, um... Uh, <laughs> mm, uh, uh, oh, oh, but then, I was robbed by the Fatui. They took everything. Now, you think about that. First, I lose all my inventory, then I get treated like a criminal. Hmm. And why should we believe you? So what? That doesn't prove they took his good. And even if they did, it'll- What? The Tenryo Commissioner colluding with the Fatui now? This is the first I've heard of it. Ah, I suppose it is true. What's that got to do with me? What, the Tenryo Commission start colluding with the Fatui after the fighting's already finished? Hmm, seems unlikely to Paimon. We met a representative of the Kujo clan recently. It doesn't seem like he'd have the time to be colluding right now. But on the way over here, we accidentally on purpose overheard some soldiers mention the exact same thing. Huh. Kokomi, do you know anything about it? It has been brought to my attention, yes. We are scheduled to begin peace talks with the Tenryo Commission soon. The Kamisoto clan has arranged for them to take place in a neutral location. Kujo, Sara, and I will be accompanied by our guards. We will use the talks to discuss future plans in detail. But just as arrangements for the peace talks began to fall into place, I started hearing rumors of collusion between the Kujo clan and the Fatui. Uh, allegedly, their goal is to completely wipe out Watatsumi Island. If that's the case, then the peace talks are likely a trap. Even the Kamisato clan could be involved. Sir... Are you quite certain that your goods were stolen by the Fatui? Yes, it's the truth. I, I swear. They stole my goods and then they ran off that way. I bet that's where that hideout is. Very well. Mm. The potential ramifications of this incident are serious. We will retrieve your goods and if everything is in order, it will prove your innocence. However... If we find evidence to corroborate the claims of collusion between the Fatui and the Tenryo Commission, I expect you to fully comply with our investigation. Do we have an understanding? Yes, of course. <sighs> Thank you, Your Excellency. Matsuda? Uchimura? Well received, Your Excellency. Good. Now, Traveler, I mean... Captain of Swordfish Platoon Section 2, would you join me in the investigation? I 
<laughs> at ease, soldier. For the time being, at least, we are in peacetime. Besides, I'm sure you won't be on Watatsumi Island forever. Whatever titles we may have, we're friends first and foremost. If we do find the merchant's goods in the hands of the Fatui, it'll prove he's innocent. Whatever's going on between the Fatui and the Tenryo Commission, we need to get to the bottom of it. was talking about. From the looks of it, it used to be a Hillichurl camp. Who knows why the Fatui occupied it? Uh, looks pretty heavily guarded. How are we supposed to get in? Not by brute force, that's for sure. But that's not a problem. The terrain here gives us an advantage, and we haven't given away our position so far. Our enemy is in the light while we are in the shadows. Strategically, we have the upper hand. Hmm. I think we have three options available. Option one. Take the king and its checkmate. The Fatui's presence in Inazuma is weak at present. Nothing more than a few scattered remnants. If we strike from above and take down their leader first, the rest of them will be hard-pressed to put up a serious fight. Option two. Hit them where it hurts. Over there, for example. A store of gunpowder cakes. If we manage to discreetly set the gunpowder alight without alerting them, it would deal them a devastating blow. They'd be caught completely off guard. Both their morale and fighting capacity would be severely impaired. Option 3. Use the environment against them. We're close to the sea here, so the air is very humid. I can gather the water vapor, you add a touch of lightning, and together, we can shock them into submission. Wow, that's our grand strategist! That will depend on our assessment of a surprise attack from the air is the quickest solution, but requires superior combat skills. With an explosion, we could rapidly reduce their numbers without a protracted battle, but absolute stealth would be required during the operation, or we'd risk exposing ourselves. If we decide to take advantage of the environment, we should be prepared for a lengthy siege. <laughs> There's the swordfish, Captain Ike. It's decided, then. We should take them down... Careless. Uh. Uh. Ah. 
live or die on the strength of those executing them. Winning a battle takes a concerted effort from everyone involved. Victory never belongs to a single person. Now that you mention it, Paimon did make a pretty big contribution, huh? Hey! I must admit, I wasn't expecting to find the Fatui laying low in a Hillichurl camp. Presumably, they've been operating out of here in secret for quite some time. What's their objective? Are the soldiers right? Could they really be in collusion with the Tenryo Commission? Let's scour the camp for evidence. If the merchant's story is true, the inventory should be here. Alright, time to take a look around! Could these belong to the merchant? There's a lot of stuff. Some of it has the Tenryo Commission emblem. Yep, this is gotta be it. So these are the Fatui food supplies? They look a little past their best. Is this really all they had to eat? <sighs> this place is chock full of bomb making materials! This is way too dangerous! We should tell Kokomi right away and figure out the best way to deal with it! I just zoned out for a moment. Let's see here. Yes, these are the stolen goods, all right. Food, medicine, farming tools... All essential for post-war recovery. And he was probably stockpiling them until he could make a handsome profit. By contrast, it's doubtful that the Tenryo Commission has any need of these items. So the idea that he was supplying them doesn't make a lot of sense. In all likelihood, he's just an opportunistic merchant. Nothing quite as scandalous as Matsuda and Uchimura had imagined. Uh, he's hardly a saint though, right? How can he stockpile things that people are desperate for? We're not just gonna give them back to him and let him go, are we? It doesn't feel right. Don't worry, I had already foreseen this. In my recently issued post-war temporary decree, I included restrictions on the prices of essential everyday goods. These items will ultimately reach the people at a reasonable price. If he had taken the time to read the decree, it's unlikely he ever would have ended up in this predicament. Kokomi, you think of everything! <sighs> I wish that were true. Take this alleged collusion between the Tenryo Commission and the Fatui, for example. I'm still completely stumped. <sighs> the low energy doesn't exactly help. Uh huh? What do you mean by that? Nothing. Come on, let's take the goods back. It's not long now until the victory feast. It'll be a race against the clock to get all of this resolved before it starts. Got it! First we mend the peace, then we attend the feast!
Doing detective work means you gotta walk the walk. No, I mean literally. I need to search high and low for evidence. There's something in the air. Something that tells me a new case is brewing. Doing detective work means you gotta walk the walk. Uh, no, I mean literally. I need to search high and low for evidence. Intuition tells me that something very interesting is about to happen. There's something in the air. Something that tells me a new case is brewing. Thank you. 
Nice. I'm starting to lose count. Him back, huh? Thank you, Your Excellency, and thank you, Captain. Uh, you see, I, I told you I was innocent. Hmm, I'm not so sure. You could have easily planned the whole thing with the Fatui in advance. Based on the information we gathered from the Fatui camp, there's nothing to suggest he had any correspondence with them. Had it been the case, then knowing how the Fatui operates, they would have left some evidence of it. Uh, but what if? No ifs, no buts. We've recovered the goods. As agreed, this is sufficient to establish his innocence. Uh, apologies. Guess we got carried away. <laughs> ah, what did I tell you? You army numbskulls don't have a clue. All brawn and no brains coming to me with your crazy conspiracies. Lay off me next time, got it? Sir, I'm afraid you're getting ahead of yourself. You may be innocent of the accusations originally leveled at you, but hoarding essential goods is a crime under the temporary decree. You must bear the consequences. You have already admitted to being the owner of these goods, so we are a- Wait, 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 Your Excellency, whose side are you on here? I have no business, just as merit must be- Wait a minute, I- Well, don't just stand- Your Excellency, he says all the good- Those of a Tenryo Commission emblem are probably his. But not the rest. Especially these ones. They're clearly for shrine use. Hmm. It seems the Fatui simply dumped all their stolen goods in one place. Leave the shrine paraphernalia to me. As for the rest, I'll leave you to sit through and try to track down the owners. I know. Not at all, Your Excellency. But if I may, I know the peace talks- I understand your concern. I'll be sure to give it further consideration. Hmm. I'm going to take these items back to the sun. Watatsumi Island observes different customs than the rest of Inazuma. I imagine it must all seem a little alien to you. since I last came to this village. There's been a lot to deal with recently. Next time you visit, I'll take you to visit Watatsumi Island's old shrine. Tatsumi Island was not located in Sangonomiya. It was close to the Statue of the Seven. Back then, the people of this island recognized the Shogun's existence, despite not venerating her as the Shogun it do. But after she struck down our protector deity, relations between Watatsumi Island and the Shogunate have soured ever since. Mistrust has become deep. I've been hoping to raise all this at the peace talks and discuss it properly. Grievances have to be let go eventually. Your Excellency, what brings you out this way on your busy schedule? Oh my, you're looking a little worse for wear. Hmm. Your Excellency, I beg you. Heed away. If we reconcile... Come on, that's ancient. I know, I know, it's just... I appreciate your concerns. I will consider the option... Wonderful. We oh, Your Excellency? Well, I'll be... Fancy meeting you at a place like this. Uh, do you know, 
My daughter's enrolled herself in the Shrine Maiden selection process this year. If she makes it into Sangonomiya, I'll, I'll be one very happy mother. You're a kind and gracious leader. She'd be in very good hands. I'm always telling my daughter that if she gets the chance to learn from her excellency directly, she must make the most of it. I mean, just look at her excellency, still so young, but so mature and intelligent. My daughter has always looked to you as a role model. Well, if she comes to Sangonomiya, I'll look out for her. Ah, Your Excellency. Boy, am I glad you're here. As you know, agricultural output has taken a pretty big hit this year. Let me bring you up to speed on the latest situation. Oh! Uh, your Excellency! Isn't this the captain of Swordfish 2? Will she be based on Watatsumi Island from now on? Your Excellency! <sighs> Please, remain calm, everyone. I'll get around to all your queries. Though, for the longer ones, I'd prefer it if you could write a report and submit it to the Shrine. Then I can respond to each one as and when I have the time. <sighs> Are you alright? Excellency, here you are. There's been a situation. We're still waiting on the delivery of a whole batch of ceremonial items. I'm beginning to worry that they've been stolen. Oh, we retrieved those already. Really? That's been... I sorted through all the petitions received recently. Also, according to the schedule, you're just in time for your meeting today on the development of the textiles industry. That's today? <sighs> right now? Yes, the two young ladies have arrived safely. We're just waiting for you. Hmm... I see... <sighs> I was hoping to take a walk around the island with you, but it looks like we'll have to save that for some other time. <sighs> well, let's rendezvous tomorrow at the entrance to Sangonomiya Shrine. Then we'll go and make preparations for the victory feast. Clear? We're talking lots of delicious food, right? <laughs> That's the name of the game. There'll be some Watatsumi Island specialties, which I'm sure you'll enjoy. Great! See you tomorrow, then! <sighs>
It's hard to remain on dry land for so long. I never quite seem to get my land legs back. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. Me isn't here yet. Hmm, that's weird. She. How is she still not here? Do you think she could be in trouble? Let's go ask that soldier over there. Are you looking for her, Excellency? I'm afraid she isn't here at the moment. I don't know where she's gone. So strange. Guess we should just call it a rain check then? Not necessarily. If I recall correctly, Her Excellency has made special provisions for such a scenario in her general operational directives. Uh, let me see. Uh, ah, yes. Number 98. Should a visitor from afar come to see me, and should my whereabouts be unknown, direct them to proceed southward until they arrive at a tree with purple foliage. The footnote stipulates that this only applies when Her Excellency has made no communication regarding her whereabouts before disappearing, and even then, only when the visitor in question is of VIP status. As far as I'm concerned, you two tick all of the boxes. I keep this directive on me at all times. I'm sure this is the right course of action. Kokomi really does think of everything! Alright, let's find the place she wrote about and have a look! to admit it, but I... 
You noticed? I guess I haven't quite mastered the ability to hide how I'm feeling. I'll keep working at it. To be honest, I'm not really cut out to be a leader. At first, my dream was to read up on military strategy and perhaps become an advisor. Constantly communicating with people, trying to retain their morale, having to read between the lines, making sure everyone gets the recognition they deserve. It's such hard work. You're somehow supposed to make people feel wonderful, just from being in your presence while also commanding their respect. It doesn't come naturally to me. And truth be told, it's something I never wanted for myself. But because of my bloodline, I was always going to end up being the Divine Priestess, sooner or later. Like it or not, it's just the way it is. So, whenever I feel overwhelmed, I come here to just lose myself in a book and relax for a while. Don't worry, it doesn't affect my work. I handed over preparations for the victory feast to someone else. I have to make a speech tonight, and I mustn't give the troops any reason to suspect that something could be wrong. This piece was hard won, and I want them to feel at ease. Is there anything we can do to help? I should be feeling energized again soon if I hold off on work for a little longer. <sighs> if only there was some way I could listen to a good read on military strategy. I'm sure that speed up the process. I was reading a book last time I was here, but... I only got about halfway through. Where did I put it? We'll find it for you. And then we'll read it out to you, to help you recover. You... do that... for me? Thank you. <laughs> I'm really lucky you came back to Watatsumi Island. It looks like there's a way in over there. Let's take a look. She's resting? Sanganomiya Events Cash Flow Statement. Consolidated Annual Report on Fishing Production. Watatsumi Island Monthly Maintenance Expenses Breakdown? This is a lot of work for one person. And it's on top of all the directives she has to write and the people she has to meet day to day. <sighs> Let's track down that book and help her feel like herself again. This be the book she wanted? Swordfish Captain came back today. Energy plus four. Uh, uh, that's... that's just... Uh... It's got to be this one, right? Look, there's even a bookmark. None of the other books have one, so she must have finished reading those already. Ooh, it's pretty dense. Paimon doesn't understand a thing. Well, let's take it over and read it to her. Read a bit. 
out loud? points right there. Should be enough to see me through the peace talks. Thank you. Well, we better get ourselves over there. It's nearly time to light the bonfire. Woohoo! Kokomi's back to full energy! Good to have you back. It looks like everything's in place for the feast. But I still need... Oh, how much energy will that take? Don't worry, I've... That's great! Welcome, everyone. Today is the day that we celebrate our victory. Recently, our war with the Shogun's army came to an end, and we finally saw the abolition of the Vision Hunt Decree. None of us can know what the Inazuma of the future will- Thank you all for your valiant efforts throughout. Truly, it is only through those efforts that we have been able to prevail in- This feast is held in honor of each and every one of you gathered here today. I hope all of you get to relax and- <laughs> Tonight seems to have gone off without a hitch. I'm so glad it's all going smoothly. People tend to be more open when they're in a good mood. Uh, could I ask you to go around and see what information you can gather? I still have no f and I'm concerned that- Okay! Ah, Watatsumi Island is finally at peace, and it's all thanks to Her Excellency, Sanganomiya. Recently, um, let me think. Well, the biggest thing for us is that we can finally get back out on the ocean to fish. During the hostilities, the open sea was full of warships. We just had to make do with what little fish and shrimp we could get our hands on. When the catch wasn't good, we'd go to bed rap. I hear you're captain of swordfish too, is that right? Well, uh, thank you for your service. Here, have a fish. It's freshly caught, so it's a bit, uh, fishy. But it's fine. Oh, no, no, no. We could- Ah, come on. Uh, okay. Let's go talk to some others. Hey there. Care for some fruit and vegetables? Nature's remedy when you overdo the barbecue. Ah. 
Are you referring to the thing about the Tenryo Commission and the Fatui? I've heard rumors, but nothing too detailed. It's funny you should say that the soldiers seem excitable, though. I've had the same feeling. See that guy over there? He's been acting strange these days. Always shouting and waving his spear around when he's got nothing to do. He scared the heck out of me a few times. Ugh, it's a miracle the fighting has finally come to an end. You know, I really hope we don't go making any more trouble for ourselves. Sorry, I'm afraid I don't have much information. If you still have questions, you may as well go and talk to him. Sounds promising. Let's go see what that guy's deal is. actually came back. Nuh-uh! We would never run f- <laughs> Is that so? Oh, do you remember what the most important thing- You got that right. So I'm gonna put you to the test. Time to see if you truly are a bona fide resistance warrior. I'll answer your questions, but only if you can beat me in a duel. Ugh, this guy. Would it kill him to just have a normal conversation? <sighs> what do you think? Are we gonna do this? <laughs> we'll see about that. You're a strong fighter. <laughs> no wonder Her Excellency chose you. You really do have a warrior's will. <sighs> then maybe you can understand us. Captain. Uh, comrade. Uh, we made it up. The story about the Tenryo Commission colluding with the Fatui. It didn't happen. Yes, that's exactly what we're hoping to achieve. Peace talks? <laughs> Everyone's been drawn in by the idea. That's why the future of Watatsumi Island is at stake. What's to stop the Tenryo Commission from stabbing us in the back? And what's to stop the Raiden Shogun from issuing another Vision Hunt decree? We are the Resistance. Everything hinges on our warrior's will. We can't trust the Tenryo Commission or the Raiden Shogun but we can put faith in ourselves. Surely you agree with that? Uh, his point does kind of make sense, but something about it doesn't feel right to Paimon. with me acting like you're above all of this what would you understand for the sake of victory we embody the warrior's will to the fullest you understand we were all in 
Now, you'd have me just put down my weapon and start living like an ordinary person, but how can I? How can I when... when every time I close my eyes, I see the faces of the friends we lost in battle? Every time I see them there in my mind's eye, it remind me that I can never forgive the Tenryo Commission and never forgive the Vision Hunt Decree. <sighs> I guess you're not one of us. Well, whatever. Go ahead and tell Sangonamiya if you want, but you're too late to stop us now. Too late? What do you mean? Hmm. Darn. Doesn't seem like he's gonna answer that one. What are we gonna do? This is really serious. We need to give Kokomi the full story right away! If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. what they were feeling earlier, it never would have come to this. I think I understand what Kozen means when he says it's too late. The talks don't begin until tomorrow, but both sides have already sent their guards to the location. They are responsible for making sure the area is safe and secure. I highly suspect that one of Kozen's pro-war co-conspirators will have infiltrated the guards with an intent to reignite hostilities tomorrow during the negotiations. Well, that's no good. Do you want us to head over there now and switch out the guards? That won't work. Firstly, the act of bringing a new team of guards to a neutral negotiation site will put both sides on high alert. It would almost certainly push the pro-war faction into taking action. They would attack the Tenryo Commission's guards and... we'd be in danger of war breaking out once again. Not to mention... That we have no idea how many of Watatsumi Island's soldiers are involved in this plot. If we change the guard in haste, we face the issue of not knowing who to trust. Sounds like a really tricky situation. Uh, so is there really nothing we can do about it? Don't let it worry you. What's done is done. <sighs> now it falls to me to devise a counter plan. These soldiers crossed the line, but the blame is not theirs alone. Whatever happens, I will find a way to ensure they do not come to harm. Let's meet here again tomorrow. It's hard to remain on dry land for so long. Never quite seem to get my land legs back.
are upon us. How do you feel? Prepared? Here, take this. These are some directives I wrote last night. These negotiations are complex to be sure, but I thought about it carefully and realized there are no more than 187 possible outcomes. I took the liberty of writing them all down. This way, whoa! This is huge! Let's see. F wow, there's so I'm glad to hear it. But, and as the Divine Priestess of Watatsumi Island, excellent. In a while, Kujo Sara. I believe the last time we yes, where you dealt my forces. Qu but before we go any further, what are you doing? That's right. She's here to bear witness. She experienced the war between us firsthand. And Seems reasonable. Then let's. The first item is the maritime administration issue. During wartime, we restricted fishing rights for Watatsumi vessels in Narukam. We intend to remove these restrictions. But going forward, any of your vessels that fish in a- That's fine. But if they're paying taxes, they should also be entitled to put any losses they sustain. Accepted. Let's add that to the peace treaty. Negotiations! The next item has to do with the- In the past, economic cooperation between our islands ha Since the war is now- The problem there is- Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't Watatsumi Island facing- True. We're experiencing some shortages, but we will recover in due- Not to mention that your proposal would require- Let's leave that aside for now, then. On to the military question. That just isn't feasible. With all due respect- <sighs> You Kujo scum! Colluding with the Fatui isn't low enough for you- Comrades, never trust the Cujo. Let's get them. <laughs> uh, protect Madame Cujo. <laughs> Number sixteen. No, wait, sixty-seven, or is it seventy-three? Uh, which one is it? <laughs>
one. But hold up. Stand down, Tadakatsu. The situation has changed. Rest assured, I am fully aware of your concerns. But I will deal with Madame Kujo. This is rather se- Excuse me for a moment. Nobody makes another move until- You two! Speak! Collusion with the Fatui? Is this true? Um... I wouldn't exactly call it collusion, as such. We were approached by a few... Fatui. They mentioned a potential cooperation to keep the war against Watatsumi Island going. At the time, I felt like we could give it a try. After all- But we were extremely careful. With respect, ma'am. That's enough! When might I remind you that you should be having no interaction with them? <sighs> so... The Fatui's main forces have already left Inazuma. Oh, her subordinate. One day, I... We bear responsibility for this issue. My sincere apologies. I have my own negligence to blame for this state of affairs. Please, grant us another chance to continue the peace talks. <laughs> but of course, Madame Kujo. I have every confidence in your ability to resolve this situation. For the time being, however, there is evidently some discord within the Tenryo Commission's ranks. I would therefore not feel comfortable releasing Watatsumi Island's forces into your command at this time. It seems that I- I will lay this issue aside for now. But we shall revisit it as soon as the Tenryo Commission has resolved our internal issues. As for the trade issues we raised, I will discuss options with the Yashiro Commission and make sure both sides have ample participation in the final arrangement. Seems like Kujo Zara is on the defensive now. These negotiations should be smooth sailing from here on out. I never knew the grand strategist of Watatsumi Island was a skilled negotiator, as well as a formidable commander. I hope that when we meet again, we can continue these sit-down discussions. Settling our differences on the battlefield is rather taxing. I think we can leave things there for today. Once I get back, I will conduct a thorough investigation into the Tenryo Commission's internal issues. I should inform you that we took out a Fatui camp recently. I suspect that before long, they will attempt to re-establish contact with your people in the hope of procuring some assistance. I recommend you say and do nothing on the matter for the time being, lest you tip them off and they disappear. Wait for them to come to you. That way, you can capture them all in one fell swoop. I will bear this in mind. Thank you. I shall take my leave now. Until we meet again. Your Excellency, we... Let's discuss it after we get back. Your Excellency, you knew? I have already been informed on the reasons for your actions. You believe the Tenryo Commission to be untrustworthy and sought to sabotage the peace talks and reignite the war. 
Unfortunately, the end result exposed and thwarted a secret Tenryo Commission plot. Yet, this was pure... But your excellency, so many comrades have sacrificed themselves in the line of duty. If we stop now, aren't all of our efforts going to waste? I want to keep fighting. I want ultimate victory, even if it means I have to pay the ultimate price. I understand your sentiments, but you cannot simply impose your will and expect others to bear the consequences. During the war there were highs and there were lows, and in the end there was a glorious victory. For you, perhaps, the experience was one of great excitement. But you saw nothing of the countless others who will remember the war quite differently. Most people suffered terribly through each day. Watatsumi Island's people yearn for peace because they have long since given all they had to the war effort. They are tired of treading water, and don't need you dragging them back underneath once again. I... but... I understand, I do. And the fault is not yours alone. It was largely an oversight on my part. I taught you to nurture a warrior's will. But never how to let it go. It's not your fault, Your Excellency. It was ours. Our selfishness. Either way, we are ready to accept sentencing under martial law. Very well. Then I hereby declare... ...that as of today, I am founding a new secret corps of the army. This division will be respons- You and your comrades will all be welcome to join. Your Excellency, what are you saying? I have concluded from today's peace talks that the Kujo clan cannot achieve absolute peace and stability in the near future. It is right that what that- I don't want to hear from- uh, All right, dismissed. And if there is- Yes, ma'am. From now on, we will focus on our training. Thank you for this opportunity, Your Excellency. We'll report to General Goro right away. <sighs> I think that's finally everything in hand. <sighs> I can feel my energy level starting to drop. Uh, meet you back at the hideout for some rest? Every journey has its final day. Don't rush. With General Goro around, even on the front lines, nothing bad will happen. Thank you for everything. With your mm, recovering, today was a reminder that I don't cope well in situations with. I think I might get Goro to handle the negotiations next time. Do you think so? <sighs> mm, but I realized I have a lot. In short, I've still got some maturing to do.
This place impresses me every time I come here. It's- We'll just wait here. We don't want to- Ayaka wouldn't mind. Honestly, even if we did come with you, we wouldn't know what to say. All right then, we- Without looking at the board, you've ruined my strategy in one move. Amazing. Hmm. Now what should I do next? Ayaka, Toma, it's us! <sighs> <laughs> hey guys, it's been a while. If you're looking for my lady, I'm afraid she's not here right now. Oh? <gasps> that voice. Toma, would that happen to be the traveler? Uh, yes. <laughs> Greetings, Traveler. Ayaka speaks of you constantly. Finally, today is the day. I am head of the Kamisato clan, and Yashiro commissioner, Kamisato Ayato. Greetings, both. I have long been indebted to you on my sister's behalf. Finally, I have the chance to express my- Ayaka is out today. Oh, I- uh, Hi! You're flattering work- <laughs> Well, he seems like a pretty powerful person. He's already working- Look! As soon as he stands up, the whole atmosphere in the room ch- <laughs> You shower- There is no need to be quite so formal. Oh, good. Cause that whole spiel was really tiring just now. Alright, now- we heard a rumor that Kujo Kamaji and Hiragi Chisato are gonna get married soon. Do you know anything about that? Oh? I wouldn't have thought you'd heard about it. I see. Well, it's true. It wasn't long The head clans of two commissions are to become joined through marriage. This is big news for the whole of Inas- Since the Yashiro Commission presides over cultural and- Yes. And, since the commissions are kind of the face of the Almighty Shogun to the masses, this- Right! Makes sense! Ah, oh, two true lovers becoming husband and wife! What a happy occasion! It is. High-profile matrimonial links between two commissions are extremely rare. But these two truly love each other. Tradition should give way to freedom in this case. Alright then. I'll be sure to pay them a visit to send the best wishes of the Kamisato clan. Hmm. No need. I- Huh? But- This is a marriage between the Kujo clan and the Hiragi. The work of the Yashiro Commission is- But she is presently occupied with other matters. And I- Oh, and- Would you two care to join me? I presume you two have a special connection with the individual- This being the case, why not come and offer your best wishes too? Or- 
Is my presumption incorrect? Oh, it's not as interesting as you make it sound. No special connections here. So we just agreed to help deliver a letter this one time, that's all. Uh, although, wait. Does that mean we helped make this wedding happen? Eh, all right then. I cannot thank you enough. Your mere presence shall... Sh wait, you're the Yashiro Commissioner? <laughs> Small talk, Toma. I'm heading out with my two guests now. I'll leave the- Not a problem. Take care, my lord. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? Ah, you're finally... Ah, oh, Yashiro Commissioner! Hmm. They're friends of ours. Paimon will do the in So it's true. Well, there we have it. That's it then. So be it. Great, so our hunch was spot on. It is a little inappropriate for me to have shared news of this magnitude with you. So I would be much obliged if you could keep it in strict confidence until an official public announcement is made. B don't worry, sir. We... That puts my mind at ease. Now, on the topic. We'd like to pay a visit to the Kujo clan. Would you mind leading the way for us? Of course not. I'd be honored. I guess this is where I... Goodbye, then. Aw, cheer up, Shano. I'll try.
All right, then. Please ex- Okay. Thanks, Ipei. I apologize that your impromptu visit comes at a- I don't mean to impose, sir. I heard the good news about yourself and Lady Hiragi. What a glorious marital alliance this shall be. Oh, I'm truly honored. I hope- Hey there! We came to congratulate you as well! Since the incident with the Takatsukasa clan, things in the Tenryo Commission have slowly started to stabilize. I'm still acclimating to the position of acting head of- You're far too modest. The public thinks very highly of you. They say you're hardworking, upright, and responsible. Uh, I'm flattered, but I wouldn't have achieved anything without the support of my people. Thanks to them, everything is gradually stabilizing, and I finally had the chance to focus a little on my personal life. <laughs> well, you're certainly making big progress in that department! <laughs> Come on now, you're embarrassing me. Uh, pardon me, I... um... It's perfectly alright. Please, continue. I'm quite content to live. It's a joyous occasion. Lighthearted is exactly how things should be. Really, who stays stony-faced when talking about a wedding? You're right. But I am curious to know. <laughs> of course not. Where there is true love, nothing should be allowed to stand in its way. No doubt people will offer you a, a colorful variety of opinions. But of course, you will have factored this into your dis Indeed I am. So, please be confident. Nevertheless, there is just- Please, go ahead. You've been working hard to bring the Tenryo Commission in line. If you choose now, of all moments- Yeah. Couldn't have put it better myself, Sir Kami. Hiragi Shinsuke is firmly against me having any contact at all with Chisato. So although now may not look like the best timing for this marriage, it may well be the only opportunity we have. Oh, that guy? Yeah, he acts like this sweet old man, but he was determined to make as much trouble for us as possible. Oh, he is the worst! I can see where you're coming from, but you're only postponing the problem, not solving it. You will still have to face it sooner or later. Yes, I'm well aware of that. But since Chisato had the courage to ask me to marry her in spite of everything, how can I disappoint her? Well, sort of. She raised the idea in a letter, and after some initial hesitation, I went to meet her and have a serious conversation about our future. It's funny, actually, because when I formally proposed to her in person, she denied having ever written that letter. <sighs> so coy. Huh? Really? She didn't say. She just acted confused by the whole thing. She really committed to it. I'll never forget the look on her face. 
Oh. Anyway, as her boyfriend, I knew she was just pretending, so I played along and said, Ah, I was only joking about the letter, and after making some disgruntled noise... Okay. So you... We did. I... And you know what? I think it was about, no matter what happens next, I will always be there for her as the one person she can always rely on. Oh, give me a break. Sorry, but Paimon's been wanting to say this the whole time. Is it just this dude, or does everyone in love act like this? Uh... Apologies, my friends. And also to Sir Kamisato. I must sound like a fool. Far from it. On the con- No surer evidence could there be- I wish you a joyous wedding when the day comes. Yeah, even if it's kinda irritating to see you all smug- Thank you all. We have some other business to attend to now. Until next time. Very well. I'll see you out. Seems busy. You're right. Could what do you think, traveler? He chalked it up to her being it bothers me also. But unfortunately Yeah, how come? Whenever we come across stuff like this on our adventures I see. In my opinion, we face two obstacles in this case. Firstly, secondly, and more importantly, if we intervene without You do have a point. Everything in the world is intertwined. What looks like a simple outcome is often the result of multiple conflating reasons. Seeking the full truth would be a long and laborious process. It would be inefficient. Sort of. I have to take this approach, or the work of the Yashiro Commissioner would never be done. My opinion is something like this. When something strange happens, instead of trying to find out what could have caused it, it is better to look at the situation itself. If the outcome is positive, and no one was deceived or harmed in the process, then it is acceptable. We don't know yet. After all, we don't know what Hiragi Chisato's thoughts are, do we? I have to say... I'm impressed by your ability to zero in on the issue from such a short meeting. Most insightful of you. You are thorough and thoughtful, just as my sister describes. Huh? But Chisato and Kamiji have already talked everything through, haven't they? Only if we are to take Kujo Kamiji at his word. But there are two sides to every story. I wish to know Hiragi Chisato's angle on this. Huh. Still doesn't quite get it. Don't worry about it. I was planning to visit the Hiragi clan to deliver my best wishes anyway. Let's take the opportunity to hear her thoughts. If she's as committed as Kujo Kamaji, perhaps they can navigate the challenges ahead successfully. But if not... Well... Life isn't always a...
is still much to prepare for the wedding. Hmm, should we also invite some prominent business leaders who frequently visit Rito? Hmm, at the very least we should send them invitations. I agree. Ah, hello there, Yashiro Commissioner. To what do we owe the honor on this fine day? As it happens, I'm here regarding the same wedding I believe I heard you discussing just now. I come bearing the felicitations of the Kamisato clan. Would Lady Hiragi happen to be available at this moment? All ladies entertaining guests right now, and we're not entirely sure how long she will be. But please, do come in. We will arrange some tea and snacks for you and your attendants. You misunderstand. These two are dear friends. <laughs> You're too kind. We don't wish to impose. We'll just wander around in the general area. Apologies for the interruption while you're busy with preparations. Please, let us know once Lady Hiragi is available. Nonsense, Commissioner. No imposition at all. This wedding is a joyful occasion. And all the other clans who serve the Huragi clan are most delighted for them indeed. We're merely doing the best we can to make this wedding as grand an affair as possible. When the time comes, we'll invite everyone in the clan and even the general public to attend. That sounds splendid. We'll leave you to it. Take care, Commissioner! a lot without actually saying anything. Hence why I dislike small talk. Our timing was not ideal, but never mind. I spotted a stall on our way over where we can pass the time. The owner always manages to come up with novel ideas. <laughs> I'm one of his regular customers. It's you! Good to see you again. Seems like you're always showing up with a VIP in tow. Oh? So you know the owner as well? Yep, we tried his dongle milk a while back with the almighty Shogun in Inazuma City! Ah, I see. So you were involved in... I'd caught wind of this dongo milk, but I didn't... <laughs> I always... When I noticed he'd said... Oh, thanks to you all, it gave me the confidence to decide that... On the one hand, I wanted more people to be able to try out my culinary creations. On the other hand, I wanted my customers to experience the joy of being creative too. So I gave it a lot of thought and finally came up with an all new business concept. Sounds interesting. What is it this time? I've decided to give complete creative control to the customer. I offer all sorts of ingredients and they pick and choose whatever they want to mix with their milk or tea. As well as Dango, I now offer rice cake, purple potato balls, black sugar, and sunsetia. Do they really all go well with milk? Hmm, hard to imagine, but who knows? It could be delicious. What if I were to choose some ingredients you don't have here? Would that be okay? Uh, well, I, I guess so. Any novel ideas you have, Commissioner, please feel free to tell me. I'll go buy the ingredients right away. The whole idea was to let my customers express their creativity freely. So of course, I shouldn't place restrictions on the ingredients if I can help it. <laughs> Excellent. There are a few things I'd like to try. Lavender melon, seagrass, and sea ganoderma. Uh, what? You want to mix those with milk? I do indeed. Why? What's wrong? You really think that's going to turn out tasting good? It's all about the experience. The taste is secondary. It's great to try new things. Traveler, any thoughts? Yes! Dongo! Hmm. An ordinary choice, but... There's two Dongo milks and one milk... Ah, no problem. Give me a second, I'll have them right. 
Here, your milk is ready. Gaga milk tastes pretty good. What about yours? A most memorable texture indeed. A success, I'd say. Your review seemed pretty positive. Taste is your key concern. Obviously. Tasty food and... Well said. If I could... Yes. No one has unlimited energy, and I try... Having my sister attend public events in my stead and having Toma as housekeeper has also been a great help and allowed me to focus. We're just passing the time here though, right? Is there anything else to think about than what we're doing right now? One or two things. Let's continue this discussion somewhere else. I noticed something before we left the Hiragi clan's residence. No, it was just a small detail. I was curious to know their thoughts on the wedding, so I asked them about it. Naturally, they responded that all other clans are happy for the Hiragi clan. But that's not the truth. What do you mean? Hiragi Shinsuke is still in prison, meaning the Kanjo Commission is the least stable in the Tri Commission. Hiragi Chisato is the sole remaining pillar of her clan, but now she plans to marry into the Kujo clan. If I belonged to one of the assisting clans to the Hiragis, I would not be feeling optimistic about the future. But they didn't mention a word about that. They simply said they were delighted for them. These are not unintelligent people. I highly doubt it is because they simply do not realize. I imagine they didn't... Keep a close eye on them, Hisashi. Yes, sir. Whoa! Where did you come from? This is one of my most trusted members of the Shumatsuban. He's been... Merely doing my duty, sir. Keep a close watch on the clan representatives we met today. Well received. I'm on the case. Oh, and I almost forgot. That milk I just had? Please order one more and deliver it to Toma. As you wish, sir. Toma. Sir Kamisato, Lady Hiragi's previous engagement is now concluded. She's waiting for you in the courtyard. Thank you kindly. Let's go and see Hiragi. that Sir Kamisato had brought some- It's been a while, Lady Hiragi. This is a rare privilege, Sir Kamisato. It is not often that I have the ch You must be so busy. But of course. The Tri-Commission- Perhaps his joy is infectious, for I am now feeling rather- <clears throat> This was- I'm sure the news will cause- Sounds like things are- Yes. But Kamaji- It sounds like you have- Yes. In case you were one- Oh! Mm-hmm. He didn't mince his words. He has always been- But despite all that, he pointed out- It's just too fa- Traditionally, in In- After the wedding, Lady Hiragi will belong to the Kujo clan. The Kanjo Commission's attitude toward you may undergo some significant changes thereafter. Precisely. This is a terrible thing to be saying, but... I'm starting to have second thoughts. Maybe I went along with it all too easily. 
Maybe I allowed myself to be pushed into this. Uh, I'm so sorry. I can't believe I'm making my guests listen to me complaining. No problem at all. The Ashiro Commission has a duty to listen to you. Now that I've heard your concerns, I should offer to help you as best I can. For instance, by helping you gather your thoughts on the matter. Now, we heard from Sir Kujo that his decision to tie the knot was prompted by a letter he received from you. But we've also heard that you did not write that letter. Sir Kujo thought that perhaps you were just being coy. Oh, dear. Perhaps I should have kept that part to myself. What? But that was... It was just a prop in his playful proposal, wasn't it? It was clearly purpose-designed, what with all the fancy lettering and so on. Fancy lettering, you say? So I am to understand that had it not been for this letter, you two may not have chosen this moment to be wed? When it comes down to it... Yes, I think so. Sir Kujo maintains that the letter was penned by your hand. Huh? But then... How did... Either way, it's wonderful to see how much you both trust one another. In that sense, you could say that the origin of the letter is ultimately not of great importance. Who knows? Perhaps Sir Kujo was the one being coy. After all, he had no particular reason to be forthcoming with us about the details of his playful proposal. Hmm. I understand. <laughs> As you say, ultimately, the origin of the letter doesn't matter. But my position does matter. But now... Marriage is the most important decision of your life. It is also part of the Yashiro Commission's job to help people through difficult times. I say this as an advocate for you personally, and for the Hiragi clan. Please, do not be compelled by circumstances to make any decision that goes against your will. To be together with the one you love is a sacred thing. It is my earnest wish that both of you may enjoy a bright and beautiful future, not a bittersweet one. I'll take to heart every word you have said to me. I can't thank you enough, Sir Kamisato. I'll think very carefully. All that matters is that you follow your heart. <sighs> Since you'll be needing some time to think things over, we will excuse ourselves now. Oh, wait! Thank you, Lady Hiragi. But, Traveler, let's find... Chisato's on a Ayato. I've said everything I can. The more I think about it. Strange. Someone wants Hiragi Chisato to be married as soon as possible. And if my guess is right, think about this. A lowly officer is greatly worried about Hiragi Chisato's future, while the heads of the supporting clans ostensibly have no concern at all. It doesn't add up. When someone's words and actions do not match, you need to infer their intentions from their behavior. Yes. It's a smart strategy. Far superior to the one adopted by the Tenryo Commission's Takatsukasa clan. Even had the forged letter failed and been seen for what it was, there would have been no repercussions. They could simply have explained it away as a misguided but well-meaning matchmaking attempt by a member of the family. But if the letter were to achieve its goal as it has so far, the perpetrator would successfully weaken the Hiragi clan without ever having to lift a finger against them all under the guise of simply encouraging a wedding. 
With Hiragi Chisato having married into the Kujo clan and the head of the Hiragi clan in prison, challenges to the Hiragi clan's leadership would begin to emerge. Actually, we have evidence. His name is Shinojo. Shinojo? Hmm. He should be back by now. Yes, sir. I'm gonna deal with this. Did they take one of the Kanjo Commission officers away? Yes. His name is Shinojo. As I expected. They cannot afford to let this opportunity pass them by. They have to act now while the Hiragi clan is at its weakest. Hiragi Chisato had been persuaded by Kujo Kamaji, and the wedding was sure to go ahead. But, after Chisato's meeting with Shinojo, she began to have second thoughts. In their eyes, Officer Shinojo has interfered with their plan. But why did they suspect him and not us? Someone was eavesdropping on our conversation with Chisato the entire time. That's why I was a little reserved. <gasps> no way! Whew. Lucky Paimon didn't say anything stupid! <sighs> but Chisato got what you meant about the letter though, right? I think so. But whoever is behind this will not allow their plan to fail now. They will not be inclined to respect Hiragi Chisato's own wishes. Her stance was so passive that she was easily manipulated, treated like a pawn with even her marriage becoming a battleground for political power play. Despite all of this, she still believed that a happy future was awaiting her. When she formally marries into the Kujo clan, she will lose her title as daughter of the Hiragi clan, her position in the Kanjo Commission, and above all, her independence. Huh. Marriage is such a trap. Easier said than done. The perpetrators are manipulating everything from the shadows. Letting unsuspecting pawns do their work. This is what makes their approach so smart. We, meanwhile, are out in the open. If we attempt to stop this wedding from happening, we will become the villains of the story and face immense public backlash. Um, so what are we gonna do? At this stage, if the perpetrators wish to maintain control over the situation, their only option is to come out from the shadows and bear their fangs. I will wait for that moment to arrive. But first things first. We must go and rescue Shinojo. He has done nothing wrong and does not deserve to be punished. Tell me where Shinojo is. We'll head off right now. Stop this at once. It's the Yashiro Commissioner. <sighs> well, we take orders from our master. No one else. Really? Then please, excuse me. Battle formation! Soldiers, quick! Power that ended high, John! 
This is order. Huh? Teamwork is dream work. Cyclone. Be still. I will have order. I must withdraw. Mind the deluge. To ashes! Cascade! I must withdraw. Let's go! We must report to Master right away! Hey! Get back here! No need to follow them. We need bait to catch the fish anyway. Leave them be. I think I saw a key fall to the ground during the fight. Let's free Shinojo first. Mm, but... In all the chaos, it must have been kicked to one side. Hmm... Where did it end up? What the? It's a tanuki? Let's follow it and see. Oh, thank the... Thank you. Thank you. It was terrifying. They said they were gonna throw the cage into the sea with me still inside. Oh, wait! You have to listen to me. Lady Chisato's wedding. They... It's all part of a scheme. Someone's trying to use the wedding for their own ends. Calm down, Shinojo. It's okay. We know about all that. Huh? Our suspicions were roused to this possibility, and so far, everything is unfolding rather as we expected. Those behind this plan are not going to give up. Yashiro Commissioner, you're... This situation has... <sighs> the All Might... Hmm, that's... Shinojo, don't return to your post yet. Traveler, Paimon... Well, if it isn't the Yashiro Commissioner, I hear you showed up here with no explanation. You wouldn't happen to be carrying out some sort of secret mission, now would you? I heard that someone was taking the law into their own hands. Shinojo may be your retainer. Abuse. Nonsense. Out of nowhere. A loop, I dare say. So, you're saying that you know absolute- Two people from two different clans are- Even if she marries- a we are, and though loyalty and duty are our- Even if we put it down to a rare- Darn it! This guy is good. Funny. I'm suddenly remind- For instance, a merchant from abroad- 
I'm sure someone as erudite as yourself could be- Ah, uh, keep- <laughs> You'd think, wouldn't you? Mm, but there's a catch. You see, this- The reason they give is this. The longest tongue has the- You- I say, Yashiro- Far from it. It is unbecoming of such people to resort to lies, deception, and filibustering. All as part of a plan to remove Lady Hiragi from her position in the Kanjo Commission. Yashiro Commissioner, please- The evidence is standing right in front of me, is it not? I have a cr- Ugh, dear me. I can't believe- You studied hard and took a government position in your years of service to the show. I'm not angry, Mr. Matsura. I just feel sorry for you. <laughs> is that right? Then tell me. If you're so bright, what exactly do you think you can do to me? This is at most a Konjo Commission issue. You are reaching rather outside of your bounds, Yashiro Commissioner. If you seek to involve yourself in other clans' affairs, might I be so bold then as to question your motives in doing so? I think you are simply opposed to an alliance between the Konjo Commission and Tinryo Commission. So you come here with an elaborate excuse to try and break up this marriage. So, that's how you view it. Well, I have to admit... Let me be crystal clear. This wedding is going to happen. The notices have already been sent out. Most of the public want to wait. Once the notices go out, that's it. Hmm. I see. It seems like I was wrong. <laughs> so suddenly... I had expected you to at least be smarter than most. Sato. You've made your move. Now- What do you mean? Do you seriously think this marriage will bring the Kanjo Commission and the Tenryo Commission together? Isn't it at all possible that the Kanjo Commission becomes... ...marginalized as a consequence of this union? Hmm? Goodness me. They had their scheme, but fortunately I was pre Let's see how things are in e Astra The <laughs> Sounds like an all-around perfect match, don't you think? For sure. Good luck to them, I say. I'm sure it must have been a hard decision. Looks like the wedding is definitely going ahead. It's still too early to make that conclusion. Our adversary wants to push this marriage past the point of no return. However, we can still beat them at their own game. but only if Kujo Kamaji is willing to help us.
welcome. I just heard that the news of my wedding has been officially announced. It seems so sudden. I wasn't ready yet. Yeah, about that, um... It's kind of... I see. So someone's trying to take advantage of our marriage. If you proceed with the wedding, the Ripper... I've previously considered this... I understand where you're coming from, but to be frank, she should not need your protection. Or, to put it another way, you have tacitly admitted that... I... I don't mean to criticize you. It is natural. I'm sure you admire... For the sake of marrying, are you really okay with that? Uh, I love her with all my heart. That's why I cannot abide... Yashiro Commissioner, you're right. It was naive and selfish of me to take things this far. But it's too late now, isn't it? There are notices everywhere. I have a plan, but it needs a villain. Sir Kujo, in order for my plan to work, you and I must both play the role. Are you willing to help? If there's a way to salvage this? I've told the people at the Kanjo Commission that the marriage isn't going to unify the Kanjo Commission and the Tenryo Commission. <laughs> On the contrary, the context for this is that... But what if we were to imagine... F the only reason you have been hesitant... And so, your plan is to liaise with the Yashiro... Once that is achieved, as the person in charge of the Tenryo Commission, you no longer... I see. This isn't... Exactly. By doing so, we can even strengthen her... Once our adversaries realize how the network of connections behind the scenes really looks, they'll do their utmost to stop this wedding from happening. Then... We simply leave them to clear up the mess they've created. Got it. Uh, so the network of connections? Uh, this is all way too complicated for Paimon. Can you just tell it? We have to make sure... Matsura, with whom I spoke earlier, in that case, he will... Sir Kujo, there are... It's almost time. My ninja has located one of the informants. Let's go and see if he'll take the bait.
mysterious. Intuition tells me that something very interesting is about to happen. Doing detective work means you gotta walk the walk. Uh, no, I mean literally. I need to search high and low for evidence. That person is one of Matsura's informants. Let's follow him. Be careful not to get seen. That person is one of Matsura's inf- Let's follow him. Did you see that? Sir Kujo Kamaji just came past here with a huge group of people. Could it be related to the wedding announcement? Hmm, maybe, but from the look on his face, it seems like something much more serious. He and his men seem pretty intense at the moment. Isn't it all a bit excessive for a wedding? is one of let's follow him did you see that sir kujo kamaji just came past here with a huge group of people could it be related to the wedding announcement hmm, maybe but 
from the look on his face, it seems like something much more serious. He and his men seem pretty intense at the moment. Isn't it all a bit excessive for a wedding? That person is one of... Let's follow him. Did you see that? Sir Kujo Kamaji just came past here with a huge group of people. Could it be related to the wedding announcement? Hmm. Maybe, but from the look on his face... It seems like something much more serious. He and his men seem pretty intense at the moment. Isn't it all a bit excessive for a wedding? The Tenryo Commission has sent a load of people to Rito. I guess it must have something to do with the wedding. I think in all there must have been about a hundred people so far. That doesn't sound good. What could be going on? Uh, I hope it's just Sir Kujo Kamaji being overcautious. The news is spreading fast. But it appears Master's fears may be well placed. There's no way they sent this many people just to escort the bride. I have to investigate. He ran off! <laughs> As expected. Let's follow him. Excuse me, has something happened on this rip? I'm a businessman passing- Ah, please don't be alarmed. As I'm sure you- Sir Kujo decided to send for Lady- I see. We are here to clear the way for Lady- Hir Not just us, either. Um... Sir Kujo holds Lady Hiragi in the highest regard, and wants to treat her with the- I understand. Drat. It's exactly as Master Feet. They say they're here to guard the road, but really they're poised to attack if Master doesn't allow Lady Uragi to leave Rito. Wait, no. If Lady. I must tell Master right away. He ran off again! That should do it. The seed. Now, we wait. Are they really gonna own up and apologize just like that? If you're curious to find out, I have some other business to attend to, so I won't be spending any more time on this situation. In any case, we've made our move. It's only a matter of time before they give up and surrender. <laughs> this is not my first time. Well then, goodbye for now. I truly hope that things will work out in Hiragi Chisato's best interests. 
He left kind of abruptly. Are things really gonna turn out like he predicted? Paimon too! Well, let's go to Rito again in two days. Hello. How may I help? We arrived here two days ago to escort Lady Hiragi to Inazuma City. Sir Kujo Kamaji gave us very strict orders, so we have to obey. But every time we attempt to receive the bride, the Hiragi clan always finds an excuse to delay things. Since we haven't fulfilled our duties yet, we decided to stay in Rito and... We apologize. It was not our intention to stay here so long. We promise our presence here will not impact ordinary people's lives. We can only hope that the leaders of the Hiragi clan will start to cooperate soon. If this stalemate continues, <laughs> who... <sighs> These people from the Tenryo Commission have been here for days now. I guess they're here to pick up Lady Hiraki. But why would it be taking so long? I heard that the Kanjo Commission suddenly said they don't want Lady Hiragi to leave. To be honest, I'd be hesitant if I were her. A crowd this size comes to Rito? Who knows what they could be planning? Shh, stay quiet. Someone might hear you. Oh, uh, right. Sorry. How did things get to this point? Any outlanders are having trouble. Feel free to visit the internet. How much longer does your master plan to hold them off? I have no idea. We're stuck in limbo here. 
Master's been very on edge these past few days. He gets irate over the smallest things and is suspicious of everything. He's been yelling at me a lot. I understand that he's anxious, but I mean, what can we do? I've told him before, never cross the Yashiro Commissioner. Yeah, good advice. With him, you just know that whatever he's doing, a lot of preparation has gone into it. If Lady Hiragi is really taken away, then what will the Tenryo Commission do? And what will the Yashiro Commission do? Uh, maybe we should tell Master to discuss things with Lady Hiragi. Hiragi Chisato is now at the center of every conversation in Rito! By now, the Kanjo Commission probably knows how important she is. But what about what she thinks? Oh, Traveler! I assume you've heard about everything that's been going on out there. What on earth is happening? Don't worry, we can explain everything. So, what happened was... After the Tenryo Commission arrived, they suddenly became alarmed. They keep having secretive discussions and won't allow me to have any direct contact with the Tenryo Commission. I never would have thought that this was Sir Kamisato's plan. <laughs> now it all makes sense. I'm sorry. Maybe there's no ra- I used to tell myself things- I didn't feel reassured at all. I keep thinking back to what Sir Cup- I can happily accept that if- But that's not- Ah, oh, Lady Huragi, here you are. You. What do you think you're doing- Calm down. The Friends. Are you sure? Lady Huragi, I told you already. These are exceptional circumstances. You are extremely- Who's to say? They don't- If you- Accuse us of trying to abduct her, just come out and say it! Don't be rude. You. I. <clears throat> Listen to me. I know all the in the present state of affairs in Rito shows me that the situation has escalated well past this is not an order. All I need you to do is give me an explanation and take responsibility for the situation. <clears throat> Understood, my lady. I shall discuss with the others right away. Chisato, you handled that well. I was so nervous, but I thought, yes. What? We had a serious discussion and reflected on our mistakes. In all honesty, no one can handle the weight of the situation here. Everyone is besides themselves with worry. It'll drive us mad if it continues any longer. Ah. <sighs> I'm so sorry. My actions were radical and duplicitous. I was selfish and ignored the greater good. And then I left the situation to fester. Would you... Would you please give us a second chance? For my lady's sake, please give the Kanjo Commission another chance. I suppose you're right. The only person who can change the Tinryo Commission's mind will be the Yashiro Commissioner. We'll head off to the Kamisato Estate shortly, and beseech him to help us with the utmost sincerity. Lady Hiragi, might I ask you to join us? You are the most important person. Without you, we have no other way.
Where do you want to go next? If you'd like to see Liu as tourist, rise! By the way, aren't you a good friend of the Yashiro Commissioner? Please put in some good words for me. Yashiro Commissioner, I'm sure you've heard the news. The I realize I've greatly offended you with my... I'm sorry, Mr. Matsura. I'm exceptionally busy and have but a... So, please... <sighs> I know. Lady Hiragi is in dis... So, would it be at all... You make it sound so easy. The try can... To lose face for... We... We'll take four... We'll do everything we... Hmm. <laughs> But, the Tri-Commission, if the situation in reach, if we fail to con- Try keeping a pet bird. You'll see what I mean. Songbirds who- And as for the ones with excessively long tongues. Well, they're so insufferable that they can't be kept as- Yes! I've listened to your concerns. I understand. Alright, you ought to return now. Okay, then please- Yes, Lady Hiragi. Huh? Oh. Sir Kamisato, you became a completely d unruly servant, but now. Oh, please. You must have heard that the Kamisato clan. My father worked incredibly hard. My mother loved him. this sudden turn of events. Still, to everyone thought that the Kamisato clan. It may sound preposterous now. Huh? Pretty sim. Back then, I had no other choice. I had to honor my parents' dying wishes, and I also had a young sister. I didn't mind what became of me, but my family. Fortunately, I persisted, and the Kamisato- I think I now- Shinojo once told me that he saw- I thought the reason I felt unsettled was because of uncertainty over getting- The reason why, sir- That's it. When his clan was in crisis, he braved- Hit his time from- Well said. It might not sound exciting. And I'm sure I- I will use this. This puts less pressure on- My best wishes to both- Thank you, Sir Kamisa. Now, if you'll excuse me- Take care, Lady Hiragi. Yes. In fact, my- She really has the air of a le- Heads off to you- In fact, our rival did- Even so. Anyway- I agree. Stability and e <laughs> Perhaps for Master Mots, a stable nation is the prerequisite, but human- All I have tried to do is make sure- Another positive outcome is that everyone recognizes how- Dealing with the Hiragi clan will be- <sighs> uh, wait a second! Hmm? I thought straight away it was bad timing. Nevertheless, everything I said to Hiragi Chisato was entirely sincere. If you choose to give up your stance on something once, you'll be having to compromise. I didn't want to see her suffer. Now- Okay then, guess we'll have to wait and see. All right. F Looks like everything's resolved. Masterfully done. Hmm. Didn't you like it? I distinctly remember you saying you are quite partial to exotic flavors. Oh! <laughs> uh, my lord? The Traveler had one of those as well. I'm sure she's made a great impression on you. The Traveler did indeed play a critical role in this case. I'm sure both families would have been more guarded against me had she and her companion not been present. It wouldn't have been so easy to get to the heart of the matter. There you go again, my lord. 
placing the focus on other people while discreetly performing your job to perfection. <laughs> Naturally. Ah, yes. Now that we're both free...
perfect wine tastes the same as my remembered. But where are those who share it? You two. It has been a long time. We have not seen each other since the resolution of the Tenryo Commission crisis. Okay, sounds more like A. It is you, right? You sure made short work of them! That was amazing! Making early prep last time we took a walk around Inazu. Since then, every time I encounter an obstacle in my makes sense. Might I remind you that I am not recently. I have observed a number of changes in the external world from the plane of Euthymia. The most serious of these being I considered this matter worthy of my if the shogun re hmm? Precisely. But Rift A disaster? Yes. Everything was a the monsters committed many a their duty was to tear open a passage through sp- Hmm. So you've heard of it, too. That's an episode of history that I am low- But an excess of caution is- n Guess he can't argue with that. Since we are both here for the same reason, let us work together. From the traces they've left in the surrounding air- Paimon feels so safe- Oh, yeah. This color! It's similar to the color when the sacred sakura takes damage! Let's follow it. It should be this way.
Stay close and you will live. We are lucky. The damage is not too serious. The Yashiro Commission will be able to nurse the root system back to health. This stuff that's flowing out, is it sap or something? And how come it's glowing? Search the area. Perhaps we will find out. Uh, uh. I can't go on like this. Not when the other troops are counting on. What happened? Who are you? Run quick, will you? We will defend Inazuma. You. Beasts and horrifying mo- Every last trip. What? what? Not right now. The Almighty Shogun. I don't know how long we can hold up. Don't worry, I'm right here. It's... The... You're back! Please, we beg you, only the glow of... Calm down. Over. Look around you. There are no mon... What? B but how? I saw them tear my... Hey, calm down. Huh. I think I understand. <laughs> yes, we were right to... Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you, thank you. He's gone. Paimon can't even begin to understand what that was all about. But somehow, Paimon feels all sad and hopeless. If I am not mistaken, what we just saw was a samurai's memory that was buried in the land. The sacred Sakura can absorb and purify the filth in the ley lines. After the Rift Hounds attacked, some of this filth leaked out through the cracks in the trunk and formed a physical entity. An entity formed with strong filth would be highly aggressive. But when purified, it presents in the form of a memory. Purified filth quickly dissipates and will be absorbed by the ley lines shortly afterwards. So the memories of the- Yes. That soldier was one of the many thousands who made the ultimate sacrifice. What he was described. Yes. Inazuma. The disaster in Inazuma caused me great. But my friend, I could tell that, although neither of us acknowledged it. So. Indeed. I never had the chance to see her one last time. But I would like to believe that she kept her promise to me until the very last. But even then. Inazuma was left more devastated than we could have ever imagined. Those terrible tragedies left great wounds that are still felt to this day, both on the land itself and in my heart. Hey. Yes. For the longest time, I couldn't bring myself to face the pain of that loss. 
all my martial might was in vain. Though I could conquer Tatarigami and vanquish monsters, I was helpless against the ravages of time, powerless to keep the ones I cherished alive. <sighs> But, after my clash with human ambition, I thought long and hard. When I traveled around Inazuma with you, I caught a glimpse of how the nation has progressed over the centuries. A glimpse of human potential. Everything far exceeded my expectations. Moving forward inevitably invites further loss, but also new encounters. Just think of that soldier. Despite all the losses he had experienced, he still chose to keep fighting for the sake of moving forward. All those who sacrificed themselves back then gave their lives fighting for a future. But perhaps the future they were hoping for is not the eternity that I once strove for. As Inazuma's god, it is high time I honored their wishes. Warriors of the past, who spilled your blood on this land, your noble souls now rest in this earth. I will never forget you, and- He's taking all this pretty hard. <sighs> them to me. Why would you ask that? Well, usually you'd pull out your sword and swish! Vapor- You are unduly concerned. Although I have some underst- I must be prepared for- Ah, makes sense! Spoken like a seasoned shogun! The roots seem pretty badly damaged this time. We definitely need to tell the Yashiro Commission about this. Hey, the same light is leaking out again! Uruyama? Is that you? Hmm? Almighty Shogun, what brings you back so soon? I thought you were off fighting a battle in a distant land. 
fighting a battle in a distant land. Sounds like this guy's talking about 500 years ago, too. Allow me to introduce, though blind, Furuyama is un- Your Excellency, it sounds like the almighty Shogun has- I'm afraid I'm unable to- After all. Um, what should we do? Oh, um, yeah. Sheesh, there's monsters- I see. Most of the residents in this neighborhood have already escaped. They want- And now the almighty sh- Imagine if this was something that e people flee out of a desire, but me. The almighty shogun often speaks to me about her dreams over tea. Just listening to her, one thing she always- Um... So you see, as bleak as things may be now, I have experienced countless wonderful things in life and have no reason not to be satisfied. Perhaps you are right. It won't be long now before I have to say goodbye to the... But I suppose it does once this catastrophe is... <sighs> oh, goodness me. Speaking of befuddled, look at me rambling away to my heart's content and for the almighty Shogun Cup. One moment, I'll just... Hmm? Where in the world is the tea set? I hope the others didn't smash it to smithereens in their hasty departure. Hmm. Can't see a tea set anywhere around here. Really? But it's always been right by my side. Goodness gracious, what a fool I'm making of myself. I couldn't possibly have my guests fetch it themselves. That would be most discourteous indeed. Don't worry about it. Take a rest. We'll be back right away. Almighty Shogun, you're not going too, are you? No, no, no. Your humble servant implores you, not with the war raging outside. This place is... complicated. It's quite unlike the tea house in your memories. Leave it to us. But... Well, okay. I never thought I'd see the day that I need the almighty Shogun to personally collect my tea set for me. I can't decide whether it's a final regret or a final stroke of good fortune. <laughs> I'm also feeling very nostalgic for his tea. Oh, why don't we go to the Kamisato estate? There'll definitely be a tea set we can borrow there!
Inactivity serves no purpose whatsoever. It's the Traveler, and the Almighty Sh- How might I be of assistance, Your Excellency? 